hello everyone welcome to yourpedia global so in this video i am going to discuss with you some of the top phd position with full funding and scholarship especially in the research area or domain where you are going to get an opportunity to do collaborative research or to integrate the latest technology buzzwords like artificial intelligence machine learning into your core engineering domain see there are two things one is domain one is technology so in today's time if we see most of the research which is going in the top global university that is a kind of the interdisciplinary research where your domain is your respective engineering and to make that domain more efficient and more productive and more scalable most of the researchers are trying to incorporate the features of these technologies like ai and ml so many student believe that if they are coming from the core background they cannot pursue their research in this area but yes you can so i have collected few of the positions and here i will be sharing with you all what is the deadline and what is the process basically and brief about that project see you all know for fall 2024 means you will be joining the university graduate school or you will be starting your session in august or september of 2024 the deadline for most of the usa universities was 15 december but still there are 10 to 15% graduate schools where the deadlines are still open and you can expect their deadline up to 30th of january or 15th of january but if we talk about european countries or some other countries or other nation there are many phd position which keeps on coming on the floating or rolling basis throughout the years so if your ultimate objective is to start your higher education or pursue your research with some of the top renowned global university then you need to keep on exploring the opportunities and follow the process so the first position is with university of swansea in the school of engineering and applied science so if you people have the background of material science or material engineering or even you are from the mechanical background or even you are from the electrical background you are eligible to apply for this position so you can see it's a funding and funded being provided by this organization and the research area is modeling data analytics and artificial intelligence so it will start on 1st of october 2024 as i told you people and you can see here deadline is 26th of january and there is ielts requirement of 6.5 overall there are sub component of the ielts reading writing listening speaking for that they have mentioned the sectional cut off 5.5 which is normal so guys now you can see they have written very clearly that if you want to apply for this position we keep on telling you people on the yourpedia global platform start interacting with more and more professors the name of the professors are mentioned here the first supervisor and even his email id is mentioned there you can email him what should be your email template that is the basically you know reason or space where the mentors of your pedia global will be helping you people see when you are writing any of the document as a part of your application process in the global university you need to submit that document in well appropriate way otherwise you may lose the seat or opportunities you need to write the document in such a way that you are presenting yourself best you need to speak about your ability you need to speak about your experiences you need to speak about your academic excellence so that all things you need to summarize in the document in the form of the personal statement in the form of the sop in the form of the you can say academic statement in the form of the motivation letter for europe or in the form of the cover letter so there are many different kind of document which are being asked from you people by the university as a part of application process so you can see this project is basically non destructive testing related right so they have described the things here so you will be you know getting the data from this entire analysis 
and that you will be taking as an input and utilizing and basically you know employing or incorporating the AI and ML technique so that you can avoid your efforts and time and you can be productive because see in any of the industry there are many iterable, iterable things which you keep on doing again and again on the initial stages of the research. So if you are in position to utilize this technology in the initial stages of your research and find some tangible output in the beginning so that that can give you a particular direction to grow and to explore your research into more deeper direction. So that is the role of these AI and ML in the research. Now moving ahead, second position I have, it is in learning for dynamics and control robotics and AI. So this is with the university, Alto University, Finland. The deadline is 31st of Germany. Funding you can see 2700 euro per month. And they have asked that you must have some good handhold experience or hands-on experience on control system engineering, robotics, artificial intelligence, machine learning. See, what I told you people earlier that even if you are coming from the electronics background, see, even in the electronics engineering, be it the communication, be it the signal processing, be it the control engineering, control engineering is one of the very dominating subject which play very key role in the auto system automation. Is it clear? You know, auto system navigation is a very big domain. So control engineering is a very important or integral part of that area. And if you integrate the artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithm with that, so you can think of you can imagine of a new worlds or you can explore the new dimension that is all about your PhDs. You need to work on some problem or the you know real world issues and you need to result something significant which can solve some real world issues and which can assist the real world in terms of increasing the efficiency and productivity and later on you can convert that into the business also. So you can see here basically the research area is the research group is seeking two talented PhD students with strong interest in the non-linear stability theory. These all are the topics of control engineering. Means if you are done, if you have done your master's or bachelor from the control engineering with specialization control system, control engineering, then you are equally eligible to apply for this position. And I keep on telling you people see, in most of the PhD position, it's not mandatory that you must have master. Yes, if you have master, then there is a slight edge, but if you are bachelor also and you believe you have an impactful CV or impactful research profile, you have done some good number of projects, even though the chances are there that you can get this opportunity. Yes, in Europe, sometimes they favor the, you know, seasoned researcher, means the people with the MTech or having some good number of research experiences or publication. But in USA, there is no such kind of discrimination. You get the equal opportunities, right? Now, going ahead, next position we have in Kuluven, Belgium. The, again, the deadline is 2nd of January. It's a fully funded PhD position and they have mentioned clearly if you are earlier working on the nanotechnology, electrical engineering, electronics, then you can equally apply for this. What they will be doing, they will be incorporating the technology or tools or algorithm of ML and AI technology into the core electrical engineering domain. So obviously they at least expect to have some preliminary knowledge or hands-on experience about the Python. You must have some basic idea about the Python libraries like Skitlens is there, Keras is there, Matplotlib is there, NumPy is there, Pandas is there. If you believe you earlier had worked a slight on the Python, then you might be doing these all name. And see, machine learning, you must have some brief introductory idea. See, these are the technology which before learning you need to embrace. You need to basically tell yourself what are the use of this technology. If I'm going to use this technology, this algorithm in my current problem, then how I can use, what will be my input, what will be my output, what will be my workflow, what will be my architecture of the problem. So from that point of view, you need to understand the machine learning, right? And this position is guys, they had mentioned very clear, PhD in automated machine learning based test generation for analog mixed signal integrated circuit means they are going to automate the analog and mixed signal integrated circuit on some application specific domains. 
Now fourth position you can see that is collaborative probabilistic machine learning. It's in the University of Manchester UK under the Department of Computer Science and if you people believe you want to do your PhD in the core artificial intelligence and core machine learning or core data science then this is one of the best opportunity for you all. The description of the project is written here. See in today's time I see most of the people are fascinated by the term AI. See AI is a very broad name. There are so many specific area under the name of AI in which you can proceed further and do a deeper research and find the good opportunity for you and make some market fit product or make some tangible research outcomes. So this is one of the opportunity like that and then it is a fully funded position. The name of the professor is mentioned here. If you believe you had some good hands on exposure earlier on working with machine learning algorithm. You have deployed many algorithm, developed algorithm and deployed for many real world application then you are the suitable candidate. Right. And you can connect with the professor, you can email him, you can tell him about your past experiences with the AI and ML. So obviously then he would come to know about your profile and he will convey you the same thing. Now next position we have for PhD position in artificial intelligence accountability project at the University of Houston USA. So guys this PhD project description is mentioned here and you can see the name of the professor already mentioned. So if again you want to connect with the professor before applying you can drop him the email and attach your CV and if you are emailing to the professor in Europe then you can attach your cover letter as well. So in cover letter you need to write specific why you are writing that letter. Obviously for that obviously you need to first read the advertisement and then you need to write in the letter as per the description given in the advertisement what all you know basically experiences what all skill set or knowledge you hold. Are you having 80% of all the skill set knowledge which is being asked in the advertisement? Yes or no you need to mention about them. Ultimately through cover letter you are writing to that professor that you are capable and you can do well with this position if opportunity given. So you cannot do this by writing that I am capable I have done. You need to mention there what you had done, what skill set you have, what knowledge you had earlier in the direction of the required skills. So then you will be a suitable candidate right. Similarly so guys these were the top 5 position according to me which I found recently for the PhD student and specifically for those students who are coming from the diverse background be it from the material, be it from the electrical, be it from the mechanical, be it from the computer science itself and they want to pursue their research in the artificial intelligence and machine learning. So like this weekly I will keep on floating some position related to AI and ML in different global universities. So you people can comment if you want some other domain also to be covered. So meanwhile if you have any of the doubt and you want to apply to any of the position you can comment there in the down section drop your number our executive will connect to you and they will immediately connect you with the mentor and you can go for the further proceeding. So we wish you all the best thanks a lot.